Welcome back to the Express in Richmond at VCon 35. This is the Lower Mainland's annual science fiction and fantasy convention, and there's no shortage of color or community at this event. Actually, or with our next feature, we're heading to Abbotsford to a festival that celebrates multiculturalism. A special welcome to Malaysia, Morocco, and Namibia. 43 different languages are spoken in the Abbotsford School District. Three years ago, Musle Haki wanted to bring cultures in the city together and came up with Abbey Fest. Thank you. We want to build the bridges, bring communities together, and so that was the only way to do it. So we started talking to the people and asked them, come on, join us and work out with us, and uh, that's there we are. So this is the third year, and you can see how successful it is. You will find all kind of ethnicity, all kind of people, all kind of things, starting with the food court. Onions, pineapples, and chicken. Sure, I'll try that. Okay. Spanish uh, paella has uh, saffron, has chickpeas, peppers, uh, artichoke, heart, uh, no hearts, but petals. Also has chorizo, chicken, shrimp. It's a paella mixed, how they call it. From Rafael's paella to traditional Thai food, Abbey Fest had a wide variety of cultural cuisine. Booths inside showcase the city's talent. The very first thing you do when you're carving a piece is you put your center line down. We're displaying our art today and doing some carving for the kids and the public to enjoy what our masks and our culture and sharing a little bit of us with everyone. We're the Tama Shanter dancers and uh, our purpose is to show Scottish culture, Scottish country dancing and we are a demonstration team. So we thought a multicultural festival is perfect for bringing Scotland. Then we found out that Scotland wasn't represented here in a booth. So we just had to get involved. The best part about this festival is it's all free. Everybody comes in free and all the volunteers, all these uh, presenters, they're all free. They don't charge me anything. And that's what I'm grateful to them for that. Abbey Fest proved to be a hit with families who played the games and took in the entertainment. I think it's really important that we share a bit of us with the world and then and local people. I really feel it's of utmost importance for our children to know their cultures, to know who they are and to know their roots. Letting people find out about other people, how they are, what they are, where they come from. When they become closer, then we have more um, brotherhood, friendliness and less problems in the world. More peace. In Abbotsford, I'm Melanie Panetta for The Express. Moosley says Abbey Fest was a great success, and the highlight for him, the Parade of Nations. Now we have a definite highlight for sci-fi fans coming up. We'll be talking to Stargate actor David Nickel about the Ogo Pogo. But right now, our feet are firmly planted in reality as we're heading to a food bank in Whistler. We pick up donations at all the participating grocery stores. A lot of uh, non-perishable goods, canned items, pastas, rice, that sort of thing. Trucking around donations for the Whistler Food Bank requires heavy lifting, but not necessarily a truck. Just legs of steel and a big heart power Sarah Jennings' meals on wheels. I'm an environmentalist um, and uh, Whistler Community Services was very supportive of, of, of me trying to reduce our uh, carbon foot, footprint by doing as much of the pickups uh, by bike as possible. Social needs and environmental needs are very well linked. And so is Sarah to this cause. The born and raised Whistlerite is an activist for both Mother Nature and Human Rights as a volunteer for Whistler Watch and Whistler's Environmental Watchdogs Aware. But today the avid cyclist is peddling a message of hunger. A lot of people have some misconceptions of sort of who, who uses the food bank and why. The majority of our, the people who use the food bank are not unemployed, they're underemployed. A lot of people think that it's all young people. We do have a wide range of, of ages that uh, use the food bank. The Whistler Food Bank is also in need these days. One thing that we are missing is a sink, which does make it challenging. In order for us to meet food safety needs, we do wash our hands before everything. and We use um, buckets that we fill up with water and, and, and wash that way. Um, but obviously it would be a lot easier if we had a sink on site. 
Whistler wants to see the Whistler Food Bank's wish realized, and so we have created the Wishes Come True crew. Coastal Mountain Excavations and Red Mechanical Pevoy Plumbing are donating their time and services to the cause. So we've got the kitchen sink, all we need is an electrician, a cupboard and a countertop. So if you want to donate and get involved, just visit us at sea to sky express at shaw.ca. What we can do together can be amazing. I'd also love to have a washroom in here, <laughs> but we'll start with a sink. <laughs> Just a small way to help lighten an already heavy load. It changes with each pickup, but on average probably two to three hundred pounds, up to five hundred pounds of food. The Community Foundation of Whistler um, gave us a grant to purchase an electric assist with it to pull the trailer. So I did it for about a year without an electric assist and then it was very challenging. A challenge overcome by the generosity of others the first of hopefully more to come. When not saving the world, you can find Sarah practicing her circus skills. She does poi and she rides a unicycle. Hey, whether it's circus skills or special skills, we have lots of great stuff to showcase coming up. Zoological find in the After the break, of marine biology. David Nickel on his latest film, The Beast of Bottomless Lake. It's been a classic sort of myth in, in BC for, for, for years and years. Hey Kara, package of soup. Helping hands at the Surrey Food Bank. It can have a very profound impact on your life. The Express. This is your local voice. And realizing, if nothing else, how much we do take for granted. Welcome back to the Express at Recon 35 in Richmond. This is the Lower Mainland's annual science fiction and fantasy convention. This is also the Vancouver premiere of an indie film that's all about searching for the Ogopogo. It will be the greatest zoological find in the history of marine biology. Well, Dr. Paul Moran is a cryptozoologist who, uh, who, who goes to look for the mythical creature of, of, of the Ogopogo and he finds a, lot, finds a lot more than what he bargained for. <laughs> this is its resting area. Mockumentaries, I have to say, my favorite genre of films. Pretty fun, isn't it? I could rig up a charging mechanism that would attract Ogopogo to us. Isn't that dangerous? Not if you know what you're doing. Well, have you ever done this before? <laughs> no. <laughs> Why? Okay, so all your Stargate fans, how yeah. do you think they felt seeing you as, what was it, a cryptozoola? Cryptozoologist, you, you got to ask them. I, uh, it's pretty exciting to be able to, to come to a con with, uh, with something other than Stargate, <laughs> which is uh, what I've been doing for the past uh, a few years. Why the Ogopogo? Well, I, I grew up on Lake Okanagan. And the old beast has fascinated me ever since my first encounter. You've seen it? It's been a classic sort of myth in, in BC for, for, for years and years. And uh, the, the question as to whether it exists or not, I think is secondary to this, to this movie because it really is about the characters that are looking for them. I'm going to find the beast of Bottomless Lake. Believe it or not, I personally think there is one. We cannot track the beast. Pogo is for sale. Get your pogo before they go go. Ah, let's go fishing. You can find out more about the mockumentary, The Beast of the Bottomless Lake, online. I've seen it. It's pretty fun. It's pretty funny. And there's definitely some feel good elements. And it's all about feeling good with our next story. We get to see what 70 employees from a local company decided to do together on their morning off. Around 1,000 people use the Surrey Food Bank every day. And that means this place never slows down. Hey, Kara, package of soup? Today, a group of co-workers from Envision Financial have taken the morning off work to help out. We need 40 volunteers a day. And here they are. They've taken over the whole warehouse. 
everything from the president of the company to the CFO to some of the tellers. In fact, we don't know who's running our credit union branches today, but they'll be back in the afternoon. And they're greeting the clients. They're greeting clients. They're talking with the people who, the, you know, they're helping. Uh, and this gives uh, our community a better understanding of why a food bank is needed and who are the people that we're supporting. Thank you very much. I have two young children at home, and at times it's a little more difficult to go out and be a part of something like this. Mm -hmm. uh, so when there was the chance to go and help out through work, uh, there was nothing was going to stop me. Well, they love it because often they don't have a venue or a way that they can participate. Chicken noodle. It's nice to be able to go and uh, connect with real people. This is just a great way that we can actually hands-on give back. This is just one of the really special things we do at Envision where people can actually get their hands dirty. Marilyn Herman says the food bank is always in need of an extra pair of hands, especially at this time of year. Christmas is coming, so start thinking about Christmas because, you know, there's ways that you can help at Christmas time, and we desperately need that help at that time of year. I'm a phenomenally fortunate person, and I realize that. And so when I can go and connect with people that maybe have not had that opportunity, it, it, it can have a very profound impact on your life and the decisions you make and realizing, if nothing else, how much we do take for granted. Something as little as taking one morning off work for these co-workers makes a big difference here at the Food Bank and for the entire community. I'm Bianca Salterbeck in Surrey for The Express. Currently, the Surrey Food Bank helps about 300 families per week. If you go to togetherisamazing.com, you can learn about Shaw's goal to fill food banks across the country. And that's just about it for today's Express, but before we go, we're going to shine our spotlight on some local events. Connect with the community of Richmond and discover the services and programs it has to offer. There'll be exhibitors, a chance to talk with top employers and educational institutes, and performances from local youth. What's your masquerade style? Put on your finest mask and celebrate under the dome with live entertainment, dancing and tasty treats, all in the spirit of a whimsical masquerade. This is a scary Halloween event with an exclusive chance to meet some BC Lions players and felines. Your pass will also include unlimited access to five haunted houses, 16 rides and attractions, a hot dog, a bag of chips and pop from the fair. And you can mark your calendars for fall of 2011 so you can join VCon 36, the Lower Mainland's annual science fiction and fantasy gaming convention. And that's it for today's Express from Richmond. Thanks so much for watching. We're going to leave you, as always, with a look at the local arts scene. And we'll see you next time. <laughs> Come on, Johnny, you got nothing to lose. So get on the gravy train with me. Because more is better, yes, less is Low. Gotta stop looking out for new for all who know You're in the right spot, you hit the jackpot You got the face, kid, and I got the You know, the dough Of the dough Just go away I don't need your help, I'm okay I could go, but the girls want to stay